Hello everyone, welcome on a new tutorial on Spark AR. It's been a while, so I want to show you something fast and really cool. Let's go ahead and do it. Just open a new project and uh, click right and add a rectangle. Go to size, click on it, fill weight, and we're here. Let's uh, create a material. Click on the material, turn it flat, and then click on texture. We are almost there. I want to go on camera and extract the camera texture. And I want to drag it into the patch editor. Let's just connect them so you can see me again. And now I want to go on add assets, import from AR library and the patch assets and the uh, shaders let's add a texture distortion and then I also want to add something from here dots, grid I think I'm going with ripple so we tried this before we know what's gonna happen I just want to show you a different technique maybe so you can actually just distort your texture by plugging the ripple inside distortion texture camera texture inside texture and then the output here and we're gonna get this but you what you can actually do you can go and make your image on photoshop or just to go quick i wanna just download a few images from Google, just like psychedelic image. The cool thing here is uh, we can use all of these images to distort the actual camera texture. So let's try it. Let's try it. I don't know. Let's see what happens with this one. Save it in download. Oh, let's try the super cool one and uh, go back on Spark and just drag these new image and your assets both and then you can drag them inside here and use it as a distortion texture just by plugging it inside here see what just happened I think that's pretty cool no compression, let's try the other one and uh, still isn't it cool? I think it really is and of course you can try with several text to different image you can go and create yours and uh, you can do many things now why do we have these here? just because I wanted to show you that you can combine them by adding a, I don't know, I usually go with multiply or add, so we can try with a multiply. As we can see, it's been mixed up. We can create really cool effects with this. It's just 0 0.5. <laughs> this is funny. And of course, you can add dots, etc. etc. This is it. Try several combinations, try by making your own image, try to add new patches from the IR library, and that's it. I like the other one better, so I want to block this and I want to send this to my phone, so we're going to see it from there. That's something easy, fast and real cool. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like it and make sure you don't miss my future tutorials. And as always, request and like, share, subscribe. Love you all. See you soon.